Hi again! So, we are in the middle of Valentine's week and I want to show you how to make healthier but delicious chocolatey treats that won't wreak havoc on your health. But first, let's pause for a second and think about what Valentine's Day really means. Now, I won't dig deep into the history and legend behind the day. You can read all about this from my blog post, Old Banana Cookies, if you're interested. But let's see what it has become today. The way I say it, Valentine's Day is about making your friends and loved ones happy, right? Now, of course, I hate how this day or any other holiday has been commercialized to trick people into spending more money. But I think you'd agree that self-made gift or something from the heart is something that your friends would appreciate the most. Mm, unless they are shallow, of course. Maybe you're wondering why I want to keep Valentine's chocolatey treats healthy anyway. Well, I couldn't imagine myself presenting someone I care about with something that would not benefit their well-being. It just wouldn't make sense to me. And besides, it's so simple and easy to make those chocolatey treats yourself with healthy whole food ingredients. Now, to show you that I'm not just talking here, I've gathered together 15 healthy chocolatey treats in a Valentine's Roundup. And you can check them all up if you go to my blog and read the post. The link is in video description. Now, to give you an idea of how simple and easy it really is to make your own chocolatey treats, I will show you, here and now, how to make two of my favorite recipes. First, raw chocolate, raw superfood chocolate candies, and secondly, also oh chocolatey baked cookies. So, let's get onto it. I've already melted here in a double boiler. Uh, raw cacao paste or liquor as you prefer and coconut puree. Now usually the base of uh, any any chocolate is cacao butter, cacao powder and refined sugar and many homemade recipes also use coconut oil. Now if you know me then you must guess that I always opt for whole food ingredients and that's why I replace cacao butter with cacao liquor or paste as you prefer as it is whole food. If you didn't know then uh, cacao liquor is made from whole cold milk, cold pressed cacao beans and it can be used as conventional baking chocolate. I have here two kinds of cacao liquor. Uh, this one is raw and it comes in big chunks and I have to cut pieces of it. And the other one, this is actually re refined uh, cacao liquor. I guess that's uh, because it's uh, melted, the chunks are melted and then reshaped into these drops. And I will use these in baked goods because I will heat it anyway. Raw cacao paste has not been heated over 45 degrees Celsius or 114 Fahrenheit. And it is very rich in magnesium and contains a rich supply of antioxidants. Now what's up, why isn't she making the recipe? Don't worry. I'll continue right now. Okay, enough chit chat. I'll actually start adding stuff now. Here in the small bowl, I have sifted cara powder, lucuma powder, and mesquite powder. My recipe actually contains yacon powder, but as I didn't have any at home, so I used mesquite instead. Okay, I just sift it in and stir. Sift and stir until it's all finished up. And lastly, I add ground xylitol, Himalayan salt and cinnamon. I grind the xylitol because somehow unground, is it the word? Mm. Xylitol doesn't dissolve in chocolate. So here it goes. Okay, some more and I mix it in. It's quite thick. This is the way I like it actually. To have more like heartier candies. Okay, the batter turned out to be much thicker than I thought uh, because apparently mesquite absorbs much more liquid in yacon because in the original recipe I have yacon but uh, no harm done. It's delicious. And I've already started pressing the 
chocolate batter into silicone chocolate molds, heart shapes one because it's Valentine's Day. I'll just finish it up and then I will put it into the fridge like for an hour and then I will show you how the candies look like. So the candies have been in the fridge for an hour and they have nicely firmed up and ready to be enjoyed or gifted to a loved one. So let's bite into one and let's see how they turned out. Mmm. So heavenly. I also have a full recipe video for these Rosa Perfect candies. I will link to it at the end of the video so you can check it out. And definitely go and read the blog post as well because there I will basically give you a step-by-step -step guide how to create your own raw superfood candy recipe, which superfood powders to add, which protein powders and other tweaks you can give to your candies. Okay, let's move on to the oh so chocolatey baked cookies. I've already mixed together the base here. It's, this has been sitting for an hour, an hour and a half or so. And it consists of oat bran, rolled oats, cotton powder, cacao powder, cinnamon and oat milk. Mm. And now comes the chocolatey part of those cookies. I melted in a double boiler again uh, some cacao paste, coconut puree and mixed in some Himalayan salt as well. And this goes on to the batter. Okay. Now I will mix it in real nice. Alternatively, you can also only melt two thirds of the cacao liquor and chop the one third and mix it in at the end. So so that you'd have like this chocolatey chocolatey chunks in your cookies mm. this is so yummy and now I'm shaping the cookies and put them on a baking baking sheet with silicone mat silicone baking mat I, I really like this mat because um, I, I usually take parchment paper this is kind of I can use it forever I just wash it and use it again so no environmental waste. It's a bit messy, your hands will be crazy, but that's totally okay. Okay. And here's the last one. I got 16 cookies. I must have even eaten quite a bit of batter. Who cares? And now they're going into oven for 16 minutes. Now, I, I always like to leave some batter behind so that I can lick the bowl. I don't know why, but I've always liked raw batter better than the baked version. Is it the same with you? Mm. Mm. So the cookies are ready. So let's have a bite. I've already had several bites, but not with you. So let's see. Mmm, the smell. You can really, really feel the chocolate. And that was the aim, right? Mm. So the health freak in me always wants to come out. So I have to tell you that even though these cookies are made of healthy health food ingredients, they are in no way a health food like kale or spinach is. So you, you shouldn't munch on them mindlessly. Everyone should know their own limit as they are quite high in fats, especially saturated fat from cacao butter. And I personally don't do very well with high amounts of cacao, especially raw cacao. I know my symptoms, my face turns pink or reddish and uh, my heart starts to pound. You must know yours. So if you crave those cookies right now, go ahead and make them. The recipe is up on my blog the link of which is in video description and you will find all the ingredients, uh, quantities, directions, substitution info and more tips and yeah go ahead and let me know how you like them 
And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my two favorite chocolate tea recipes and that will, you will go and check them out and try them as well. And definitely read my uh, Valentine's Day roundup for even more chocolatey recipes like brownies, raw cheesecake, lemon cake with chocolate frosting, uh, one more candy recipe and even more unconventional treat like chocolatey sweet potato cream. Now in my future videos I plan to dig deeper into sweeteners that I use for my baked treats or raw treats. As you know, I'm a former Candida overgrowth sufferer, so I only use xylitol and stevia. And I wanted to explain more about this topic to you. So make sure you subscribe not to miss any of my future videos and blog posts. And also, please let me know if you enjoyed this kind of uh, cooking together kind of video so that I would know whether to make them also in the future. <coughs> Mm. Mm. How many cookies have I eaten raw?